Good morning, grade 4. Our lesson for today is about magnets in everyday life. This is teacher Mildred and this is science, grade 4. Daniel is helping his grandmother pick up pins. He is doing it the easy way. He is using a bar magnet. A magnet is a piece of material that attracts some materials to it such as iron. These materials attracted by a magnet are called magnetic materials. Magnets come in many different shapes and sizes. The picture shows some examples of magnets in different shapes and sizes such as horseshoe, bar, and ring magnets. A horseshoe magnet. A horseshoe magnet is a magnet made in the shape of a horseshoe. At the ends of its legs, the magnet has two magnetic poles close together. This shape creates a strong magnetic field between the poles. Wand magnet. A wand magnet is shaped like a wand. Magnetic wands are brightly colored, which contains a permanent magnet molded into the end of a durable plastic handle. Some magnets are disc shaped. Disc-shaped magnets are thin, flat, circular magnets. They are the most commonly used magnet shape. They are used in holding applications. Some magnets are shaped like rings. Ring magnets are thin, flat, circular magnets, which are commonly used as a mechanical attachment when needed to secure a magnet. The bar magnets. Bar magnets are rectangular and narrow objects that are made up of steel or iron. All bar magnets have two poles, the north pole and the south pole, which are painted red and blue for identification purposes. Magnets lose their strength if you damage them. Make sure you don't drop them or bang them together. Store them in a box and cover the ends with a keeper. We use keeper to keep magnets strong. The uses of magnets. Lots of things we use every day have magnets inside them. The main use of a magnet is to attract metal objects. These objects attracted by the magnet are called magnetic materials. Not all metals are attracted by a magnet. We can say that the only metals that get attracted to a magnet are iron and steel. These materials are examples of magnetic materials. Magnets are also used in different appliances. The magnets attract metal parts inside these appliances and keep them in place. There are magnetics inside a television or in other appliances such as computer, an electric fan, speaker, or even a telephone. And that's the end of the lesson about magnets. Remember, a magnet attracts some metal objects to it. These objects are called magnetic materials. Objects that are not attracted to a magnet are non-magnetic materials. 